Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first part of Faster Than Light. I have not played this game yet, and I hope it's good, because I just bought it. It's on sa sale on Steam, still, tonight, as of when I recorded it, for $5. It's usually 10 but you know, I've heard it's really good. So let's try out the tutorial. Welcome to Faster Than Light. You are the captain of a Federation star trip on a very important mission. The Federation is con currently being torn apart by vicious rebels, and your ship is carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. You will be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Okay, your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. Okay, hello Kestrel, how are you doing? Ooh, there are people. That's cool. The circular icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. Okay. Systems use power for the, from the reactor, pointed by the arrow, so that's power. Sweet, I have power. Uh, these are your ship's subsystems. Unlike systems, they do not require power from the reactor. Okay. And what are these? Piloting, uh, sensors, and doors. Okay. Okay, shields. Um, engines, that's important. Oxygen, that's extremely important. The med bay, I'd say that's important. And weapons, which is also, these are all important things. Okay, ho hover your mouse over any system icon to get more information about it. I just did. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's cool. So the engine room's in the back. The shield system over there. That's, that's really cool. The hole meter. The ship, shield level, and current resources in the top left. Oh, you have resources! This is gonna be an awesome game! Okay, amount of fuel, each jump consumes one fuel. A uh, number of missiles. Some weapons consume one missile when fired. Number of drone parts. Using a drone consumes one drone part. Okay, and what are these? Current scrap total. So I have ten scrap. Uh. So. It looks like I have one out of four shields or something, and that's my health, of course. My evade is 10% chance, and my oxygen is 100%. And those are my people, I think. If this reaches zero, then my ship explodes. Obviously. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered, white system boxes are unpowered, and providing no benefit to the Kestrel, so like this one and that one. So, what am I going to do? Left click on the engine system icon and power will transfer from your reactor to your engines. Ah! Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click to do depower system if you want to reroute its power. Okay, so I can power this up. All the way. So there you go. That's good. Oh no, your engine room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show you it's broken. Hey, that's... <laughs> your whole meter has taken two damage. Oh, okay. What just happened? Your crew cannot repair your ship's hull, but they can fix the engines. Select your crew members using left click. Select multiple crew by cli left clicking and dragging. Select some crew to continue. Let's take you two. Uh, so with crew selected, right click on a room and send them there. Or try sending them to the engine room. We're going! Yeah. You run. Pretty quick. What are you guys going to do? Fix this place. Oh, I see. And there's a little yellow bar. Yeah, one's fixed. Crew members will automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders in their room. Fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. No, fighting low oxygen and fire will hurt the crew. Not fighting low oxygen. That will not hurt them. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Yeah, notice that repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to their last power state. Okay, gotcha. I'm gonna send this guy to this room. And I think that little white thing up there is how many people you need to run the thing. That's what it looks like. Some systems can be manned by crew members to provide spawn motors to the system. Crew members will automatically man any function in... Yeah, okay, that's what the little white person is. So they can man the thing, so I have one person in each room. That's handy. So, my engines and my shields have a person manning them. That's nice. Oh no, a fire in my st Man, my ship's a mess. It's just, it's just... Everything's on fire and falling apart. 
fire broken out in the starboard airlock, you can send out your crew members to put it out, but let's take advantage of your airlock. Open one of the airlock doors by left clicking on it. Okay. Yes. Opening doors allows you to drain sections of your ship of oxygen and put out fires. Rooms turn pink as the oxygen drains out. Your oxygen system will slowly refill your ship once leaks are gone. So close it. And there's still no oxygen in there, apparently. And is it better? Still a little red. Okay, now that your engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should faster than light jump to the next location, FTL jump. Jumping requires a crew member in the piloting system. Where the heck is the piloting system? Is that the piloting? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, there are two in there. Each member, each jump consumes one fuel. Without fuel, you will be stranded and unable to jump. Click jump. Okay. Oh, space is jump. Space is not jump. This is the beacon map. This is cool. A ship marks your current location. Yes, I see. Hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Left click on a connecting node to travel there now. Am I going to the exit over here? Okay, let's. They're all unvisited. Um, let's go for a direct route. Oh, yeah. Every new location will have an event like this. You might have multiple choices available to you at an event. In this example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Continue or two. Special blue choices like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. They're nearly always a good choice. Okay, so I'll select it. Welcome to combat. You can use spacebar or middle mouse to pause the game at any time to strategize, give commands, or relocate your power. Awesome! Paused. You need to power your weapons to fight. The amount of power required is pictured in the weapon box marked below. Ah, so I need one power in here, so I'll power the weapons one, right? Left click on it to power it. Oh, okay. So I can do that. There you go. Left click a powered weapon to arm it. Then target a room on the enemy ship by left clicking on it. You can also use hotkeys 1 to 4 to access your weapons. Weapons will fire when ready. Okay, so I'll select this. Let's see. If I destroy the oxygen in that place, I'd say they're pretty screwed. Oh, but that's just the oxygen system. Uh, let's take out their um, weapons first. So there you go. Unpaused. Oh, I, only, I have one bullet thing. Oh, crap, my shields. Okay. That takes a long time to charge. Oh, we missed one. Okay, so what's going on? Here. Oh no, you shot two lasers. Your two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate level 2's shield. But luckily, he can't get through your shields either. Note, every two powered bars in your shield system nets you one more shield. Wait, what? Two powered bars in your shield. Oh, so every two of these I get. I have another shield around me. Okay. So, what do I do? You've given a, given a missile launcher. Oh, where'd we pull that from? I don't fucking know. Okay, um... Use your missile to damage the enemy's shield system, and your lasers can get through as well, so... Missile, that shield system. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, yeah. There you go. Missiles. Ah ha ha! Ho ho, yeah! You destroyed the pirate ship. As salvage, you gain some scrap and a weapon. Scrap 100 weapon halberd beam. That sounds awesome. Ship. Okay, this is your equipment screen. You can see more detailed information about your weapons, drones, or augments by mousing over them. Uh, click and drag your halberd beam to replace either of your current weapons. What is this? Slow but reliable power standard beam weapon. Beam damage is reduced by one for every shield that passes through. Uh, damage per room hit two. What is that? I don't know. Am I supposed to replace the Artemis? Well, 
I liked the Artemis. That was a missile launcher. Oh, but I only have 18 of those, and this is like a constant damage. Shots per charge. Hmm. Well. Let's put this up here and replace the Artemis for right now. We can always check it out. Oops, your weapon system max power 2 is not upgraded enough to support your new weapon. Power Chrome 3, open your ship screen so we can fix this. Upgrade screen, detailed information, spending scrap. Okay, so scrap is used to upgrade. You can also upgrade your reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important. Keep everything powered. Oh, so I can get more power over here. Okay, well, first off, I think we need to upgrade weapons. Okay, left click on your weapon system to upgrade it. Click accept. Now power your new weapon. Aha! You might need to power down your other weapon. So I need to not left click this, but I need to right click it. There you go. Oh, I see how that works. Okay. So Halberd Beam is not very good for this right now. You can rearrange your weapons in this weapon system toolbar. If your weapon system is damaged, this order determines the order they are depowered. Okay. Right to left. So left is the most important. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Okay. In the next episode, we will go out and start Faster Than Light. I will actually upload that at the exact same time, so you guys don't actually have to watch this to get to the first part. But this is here, in case you guys were wondering how anything worked. And I'll send you guys back here. So, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.